If you are testing user imitation flows, balance transfers, or coupon redemptions, race conditions should be something you watch for. They are easy to miss but can lead to double charges, duplicate invites, or even unauthorized access. So in this video, I'll break down how race conditions work, how to test them, and how they can lead to real bounty payouts. So let's get into it. Let's say there's $1,000 in your bank account and you want to withdraw it. So you are user A and there's another user that is user B and they both want to withdraw $800. So user A sends a request to the server. The server checks if there is balance present or not and the balance is present. So the request gets approved. Same happens for user B. It checks the balance and it gets approved. But what's happening here is user A and user B are doing this at the same time. So they send these two requests at the same time in a parallel to withdraw $800. They both want to withdraw $800. Now what happens? They both get this prompt message, $800 successfully withdrawn. Looks, uh, looks normal, nothing suspicious yet. But when they try to check their balance, they see the final balance is $600 minus $600. What the heck is happening? The system should have logged the balance after the first check, but it didn't. And this is actually a race condition scenario where two actions racing and the system messes up. So let me tell you what actually happens. If two users send a request at the same time, in this case, user A and user B, there's a check happened. I told you the check is to check the balance if they both have one thousand dollars or not so since both checks see one thousand dollars both get approved then money gets deducted twice even though only one thousand dollar was available it means now your account has one thousand dollar minus eight hundred dollars minus eight hundred dollars which gives a negative number that is minus six hundred dollars so why did this race condition happen because the system did not handle both requests as a single or logged operation it did it in steps the first step is to check the balance second step is to approve it's enough and the third step is to deduct money the problem these steps weren't done automatically they were separate so both requests checked the balance before any deduction happened they both saw one thousand dollars and they both got approved since there was no log or transaction isolation, both were allowed to proceed. I hope you're getting what's going on here. It's kind of weird, but we are going to look at some real life reports as well to understand this more better. So here's the first report, race condition in claiming program credentials, and it is reported to HackerOne itself. So what happens here, as you know, in HackerOne, if a private bug bounty program invites you and you accept the program and then you can attempt to get test credentials like a test account or password to test on their domains or subdomains so when you request test credentials a graphql request is sent in the background as you can see and here we have a mutation called claim credential mutation so this is the one that is responsible for fetching the credentials for you and these credentials are unique for each researcher so what he did he he took the request and he sent it to burp intruder and he tried sending 22 parallel requests and he got 22 responses and 21 of them had the same response it means they failed but one succeeded as you can see this request says was successful false and this request says was successful true and the response contained credentials here's the email and here's the password of course it's redacted over here but the thing is even though it is saying was successful false it also contained credentials so means technically all of these requests succeeded and the attacker was able to get 22 valid credentials or test credentials which wasn't supposed to happen and it's happening here because of the race condition 
So, in this case, he was able to have multiple test credentials and block another users from getting a test account if the program provided a limited amount of test accounts. So this is actually the impact, but he wrote it here. It's fine, I guess. So this bug exists because backend likely didn't lock the process of claiming credentials. It probably checked for available credentials, assigned one, and marked it as claim. But multiple requests ran before step three, which is marking it as claim. So multiple credentials were given out. Moving on to the second report, that is, risk condition leads to undeletable group member. Okay, so this researcher found a risk condition that affects group membership management in a system, leading to a situation where a user cannot be removed from a group by either the user themselves or the group owner or the admin. That's exactly what's written here. The user can add themselves twice to a group and which make them unremovable from the group. So they cannot remove themselves, neither the group admin can remove them. And this is actually a low of severity vulnerability because the user first needs to have a valid invitation link, but nevertheless, this leads to permanent membership of a group. So this needs to be fixed, okay? So the the steps to reproduce. First account will be a leader account. Second account will be a normal account. Create group from the first account, which is the leader account, and create an invitation link. Join using the invitation link on the second account and intercept the request. So this is the post request slash group slash post join. And here we have some parameters in white value and a CSRF token. Now repeat the above request in parallel, like sending it to Burp Intruder. I did it for five parallel requests and I was able to add myself two times to that group. So this is the group name and here you can see create an invitation link and here is the added user which is added twice but now this user cannot be removed now try deleting the user from the first account which is group leader no matter how much you try you won't be able to delete it is there a delete button somewhere i think you should have added that this would lead to a state where the group leader will have to delete the group and create a new group if he wants a malicious user to be removed. Okay. Oh, this bug is nice. Something low but impactful. But I think in the report he should have added some kind of options to show that you cannot delete the user or a video POC that would be better. Both for the person who is trying to learn and for the triage as well. But yeah. Office make your report in detail, guys. Now, similar to the previous one, bit similar, we have another report. Risk condition on action invite members to a team. So, I found a risk condition vulnerability which allows the invitation of the same member multiple times to single team via the dashboard. Okay, tools needed, burp suite, intruder or turbo intruder mostly Turbo Intruder, where you can send multiple requests at the same time. So basically you have to add a script there as well to use it. So here are the steps to reproduce. Log into an account on omice or omice.co. Invite a member for testing. Intercept the main request to endpoint team membership using the method post. Modify the HTTP 1.1 protocol for the communication and add X request person S for the Turbo Intruder extension. So guys, this is the Turbo Intruder script that is testing for risk condition in this case. So this uh, script is sending up to 30 concurrent HTTP requests, as you can see, 30 written here. And that all pause just before sending their final byte. Once all requests are ready, it unleashes them at the same time to trigger a possible race condition on the server. And this is what happens in most of the requests. This is the basic script that is just taking all the requests, keeping them ready, and then releasing them all at the same time. And of course, you can modify this number. So you can also use the script or you can just use ChatGPT if you want to do a little bit of more modification. It's too easy now these days. And he says that, as you can see, there is multiple 200 OK, which means the race condition vulnerability happened. Where is multiple 200 OK? 
this is a request this is a script where he didn't include it, the response okay he should have so the problem here is the bug persists even if the invited member has accepted the invitation more invitation will remain in the list of the invited members of the team which is undesirable by design so yeah it's a low bug but something you can definitely test for Moving on to the last report we are covering that is race condition and performing retest allows duplicated payments. This one is really interesting. Again, reported to Hacker1. So this researcher found a race condition in the retest payment system. So in Hacker1, there is a feature if you test a vulnerability and, and it is valid and they check it, okay, it's valid. Then they tell you, okay, can you retest it from your site again? And when you retest it, they give you additional bounty for retest. So this researcher exploited this feature. How he did it? So here's the steps to reproduce. Receive a test request email from one, which you'll get from their side. And once you get it, intercept the request to retest the email. Right click the request from the website and select copy a scroll command. Execute the request on the command line in form. Um, I executed the command five times. Okay. Basically, he's doing this from command line instead of a Brepsit intruder. Scroll the bottom of this path settings bounties. The payment will appear under the retest payment sections and may be repeated. Wait a few weeks if successful, call back from Hacker1 will be received. In this case, from this guy, Michael. <laughs> okay, and he said it looks like you made some free money with the race condition bug in the retest feature. Check your bank account statements. Observe that 500 payment was sent from Hacker1 two weeks ago, demonstrating that the race condition was successful. And here's the impact. This allows an attacker to exploit the retesting feature to steal many times more money. Given that this went unnoticed by both the attacker and the hacker one for over two weeks, this has the potential to be exploited multiple times to steal money from hacker one. This one is really crazy. Again, this happened because the backend didn't log the retest task after the first request. So all five requests slipped through and triggered separate payments before the system could update status. So this caused multiple payments without being noticed. And of course, this shouldn't be happening, right? But a nice race condition bug. So these are some reports that I wanted to talk about. You should definitely look for such features or features that are more unique where you can perform an action or some kind of mutation if it's a GraphQL and check if you can do that more than it's supposed to be. For example, if there is some function you found and that function is limited for example it is supposed to do something for once only like inviting a user or applying a coupon you can test for if you can apply a coupon multiple times through race condition and that will lead to a huge discount you know what i'm talking about and if you have more questions related to this you can ask it in my comment section i hope you enjoyed this video Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.